Tonight we're taking a closer look at the disappearance of 40, a 42-year-old wife and mother from Richmond Hill. Police say that she was last seen leaving her home over a week ago, and no one has heard from her since. Today I'm back in Richmond Hill, Georgia, continuing our search for missing person Demetria Watson, who's been missing several months at this point. And the story goes is that it was a kind of a normal day. She left. She was supposed to go to work at CVS, uh, closer to Savannah, and. Uh, you know, she never was heard from again besides a text to all her family members saying I love you, which is the strange part of her case. Well, she sent me a text and was like, I love you out of nowhere. And and then I knew like something was off. So like that's when I let my dad know. That same message sent to her husband and a few other family members. That would be the last time anyone would hear from Demetria Watson again. Now, we've been searching a lot of the obvious spots, the rivers, and we're going to be continuing our search today, starting near her house, which is where we're at in this neighborhood over here. And today we have the RC sonar boat, and this is actually the closest body of water to her house, I believe. And I don't think anybody else has searched it, because um, you wouldn't at first glance think that a car would be in here. But, I mean, if she launched off here, I think she could be in here. I think it definitely has potential. We know she left her house, got yeah. her on camera, leaving home. Yeah. And now it's this neighborhood. And we know she worked at CVS, right? Mm -hmm. The word is she somehow went to Hinesville. Yeah. Which makes zero sense to anybody. But they claim her, her, her car pinged there. She was found at the Red Roof Inn yeah. camera, right? Right. But I'm just like, man, we've looked there so much. I'm like, well, let's just take Hinesville out of the equation and start where we know yeah. she was last seen. Who's to say she didn't come back to work for? If she did go there, maybe she came back this way and went to work. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how the whole pinging thing worked. But now we're like, well, we know she left this neighborhood, so why don't we just start spiraling from here? Yeah, you know, yeah. And just like, okay, we'll hit that water, we'll hit that water. So I say we start here at this pond yeah. and uh, check it. There it's a lot is, bigger than I thought. Apparently, there is alligators out here. We're not going to be getting in the water, though, because I've been working on a special project, a remote control sonar boat, and it's it's working pretty good so far, and it allows us to check quickly and uh, remotely these small bodies of water without causing a big stink, you know, putting a big boat in with a motor, a gas motor and all that. So mm. we're going to uh, go over the sonar boat, and I'm going to show you because you haven't seen it yet. I'll take your word for it. And then, uh, I, hear it's I don't know exactly everywhere we're checking today, but we're starting here and then we're going to keep going on for there. But I think there are some bigger rivers that will use the big boat. They're just, they don't make as much sense to me, but we can't rule them out of the equation. I think we'll just start searching until we yeah. exhaust all the, all the ponds. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is she's still vanished. Car's still missing. So she's got to be either deep in the woods or underwater. Yeah. You know, or I, for some reason she's just gone. But I don't know. Well, more times than not, they're like right there. Right. You know, so we kind of start looking. We kind of overlooked this spot, but we didn't even start here because of the whole rumors about Hinesville. Right. So, Hinesville, we were just so focused on, which still may be where she is. I'm or not was, doubting but, it. I'm just saying, like, why not search these two for yeah. some weird reason? I don't know. Well, let's get the boat out and start scanning. <laughs> I think that's what we were looking at, but it doesn't scream car to me. So let's get this back in and figure out the next spot. I I reckon. I, and then this pond. It's like six, seven feet. But man, the uh, your, what, what what do you call this thing? I don't know. It needs a name. All right, so we're at the next spot. This is right close near her house as well. And this one's, I think, maybe technically on base or right next to base. Oh, I got some intimidating signs. There are some signs, but I <laughs> no mean. No gates, no guards. Yeah, there's no, nothing. You know me, I'm just a big old dumb explorer. I don't know nothing. It is really clear. Yes. You can actually see the gators. Apparently, once again, there are alligators in here. But. Apparently there are alligators everywhere. How do you know that? Well, we're in... I also didn't expect it to be 80 degrees. Close to Savannah. Gators in Savannah! Hmm. So 
We're going straight off the boat ramp right now. Man, he's gonna go backwards, huh? Six feet is deep enough. How far do you think it'll reach? I think it'll cover the whole, the whole thing. Really? The video might not, but... Well, we could drive... Is there a road going around this whole thing? <sighs> we could do what I was doing earlier and just literally drive around it. I saw something casting a shadow. I didn't scream car at first, but we're going to go over it again. Definitely an anomaly. It's more spiky, the shadows. Is that it? That is again. I don't know what the heck that is. I mean, it's sending a, a crazy thing. shadow. Well, that buoy's right there. It might be that. Well, you're just now going by the buoy, though. And that would be... It might be... It might be something tied down to it. I just don't... God, that thing's... It is kind of the right size. It's big, though. I don't know what these other plumes are. It is right where that damn buoy is, though. It might be just... Yeah, we just went around the whole thing. I don't know how much footage we have from that. We were kind of driving around the truck all over. I mean, that was pretty cool. Essentially, we're, we're cleared and cleared ponds inside the car. I wish we could... This water is so clear, man. I'm kind of... No, kinda, we'll find a car, but it's going to be in the muddiest and nastiest yeah. pond out here. That's not, if it's too muddy, I can't run this thing. Really? You don't like mud? Well, I don't, I don't want to test it. It'll get on the props. Well, it's not mud. Well, yeah, it's dirty. dirty as long as it's not debris. Yeah. But this water looks drinkable, man. It looks like a spring. Take a sip. See what it tastes like. Clear the colon. All right, right now we're heading farther back because there's actually a... Uh, there's two more little ponds that are smaller back in this area. We're just going to clear these. And then, head up, and then we're going to head over to this little park nearby. But we're just trying to be as thorough as possible because you just can never take a chance. It might be too shallow, but we'll just take a look back here first. All right, gonna check this one real quick. Opening. That, one, that side looks better. Yeah. All right, we got the boat in. Again, we're checking over here. Right now, it was way too shallow, two feet. All right, we're kind of clearing these quick and not probably showing y'all much, but this one's clear. And I think my sonar battery's starting to die. I sell them more. So we're back at the farthest pond, the most secluded one way back here. But you see how much growth and stuff is back here? That is not good for sonaring. Also, it's not gonna be great for the little boat because it could get caught up easy. I don't know about that one. I mean, we could search over there on the other side, but I don't want to come near all this growth and get stuck. Yeah. Usually, don't they say like, if it's like this, it's shallow? Or is that just- Yeah, I think it is shallower. So in the middle, so you, yeah, I think you're right. So, I mean, I guess it's deep enough in the middle. So I mean, I, I would think here or that little spot right there, or really anywhere right here. We'll, I mean, we'll just check the open areas. Okay. <sighs> you need to find something. Ugh, what's going on here? Oh, there it goes. I thought this one would be more shallow. Oh, this would be dug out at least. Yeah, nothing screen. It just doesn't seem like the type of place that it would happen for a car, you know. If there was one, it'd be like an older car from before. But I don't know if we should check here. It really all depends. I mean, if it was suicide, that's the thing. I mean, it, there's it, no way she would go to a public park during the day. We just don't know, and it's not. You it know, I don't accident. want to speculate because we don't know if it was foul play, suicide, or an accident. See, the problem is like if it was an accident. I mean, this isn't a spot where... No, it exit. would be like, there's ponds like right off the, the exit ramps. There's like little ponds. Yeah, I saw that when we drove by. Like, it's it's possible. But then I'm just, I don't know. I, can't, I, don't, I, don't I know. want to, I'm, I'm hesitant for this one. But I, I want to check the uh, the river game. We can do all that tomorrow. Yeah. 
Let's this go. one, I don't know about this one either. Those other two that I sent you, they're kind of, you got to take a dirt road to get to it. So. Yeah. That one you sent me makes more sense. But I think there's another park like this that's better. Let's go look. I, I kind of say we skip this one. It just doesn't, not to say I wouldn't want to search. This is not, nothing. Dude, I don't know what these are. I know, dude. They're so annoying. These little bugs. Button. I think they're it's a Savannah thing. Really annoying. It is the next day and we are continuing our search for Demetria. Now we have a bunch of different tips and information leading us a few different areas, but where we are now is, I guess, semi close to Belfast Road. And the idea here is that there's this little pond we're gonna check, it's kind of in the area, but apparently the police were checking by helicopter in this area. And I don't know if they know some information that we don't, but because they were checking here to see if her car was like in the woods, we're checking in the water in this area, and I have no idea if this has been checked, but it's kind of secluded off the road, and you could definitely, it looks like a car could go in at a few spots over here. I don't know if it's deep enough, but we're gonna use the sonar boat again today, real quick, and then we got some other boat ramps, some other areas, we're kind of all over the place. There's only so many bodies of water we could check in between Hinesville and Richmond, so I mean, yeah. if she's in the water, you think, process of elimination. Right. We might get lucky. This is kind of the right direction, if we, we know she was, past uh, the Red Roof Inn, which we had the wrong Red Roof Inn, apparently, in our previous video. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, not the one in Hinesville. Um, so but this is past the correct one in the general area, so. All right, so we got the boat out. We're gonna check this really quick. Let's move on. Should be good. Three feet. Man, the screen. It's like the first thing we need to get. Something like crank up the volume on this thing. All right, so we'll go down there and then I'll turn around. Get the boat in the water, going down slowly. I mean, one pass just should have, should, should just about cover this whole thing, really, because on the other side, we, you can't get a car over there. Right there on this curve is where I'm concerned about. It's gonna be deep enough out here. No, definitely all three feet. That's like the four feet's like here. Yeah. So, or you it's know, a, here on a, me. All right. All right. Well, it looks clear to me. We'll head back. And get definitely. this thing out. And that's how quick. I mean, basically like ten minutes. Uh -huh. We we can cover. It would have taken us an hour <laughs> to get the boat in and out and do all this. Well, we'd still be doing that right now. Yeah, you just gotta gradually go faster. Saw another body of water over here by behind Publix. It just looks way too small. And there's, I think there's cameras back here too. Probably. Probably is, but like, I don't see a car going in right here. No, but I mean that little dirt road on that side, it could. Good. But I also don't know how to. Could be it looks two feet. Deep. It looks so shallow. I mean, maybe right here. I don't want to rule out anything, but this kind of doesn't seem. If it, if it was, you know, suicidal, I don't think this would be the place. Yeah, and if it's an accident, she wouldn't be over there. It yeah, be it doesn't really make sense. I think we can rule this one out. We can always come back if we run out of other places, but. Yeah, well, and there's like, houses right there. Somebody would probably see something. That's what you'd like to think. I mean, this is during the day. Yeah. You gotta keep thinking back, like, where could she have gone when nobody would have seen? Nobody would have seen what happened. And we're assuming she's still in the area. Right. Like she somehow could have just got on the highway and just kept going. Went somewhere. She very well could have. All right, this is one of the only other few public boat ramps. Man, it's a little wakey out here. It was a cat. These tide situations are really tricky with vehicles, I feel like. It could be one way or it could be the other way. Yeah, let's find out. It is six, seven feet right here. Eight. Is it? Yeah. 
kind of a good thing. Not like the color we're on. Is that a car? I don't know, man. It looks like it. Are you serious? It looks like something. I can barely see it on this screen. We just put in here this boat ramp. So we had one signal. I'll try to pop it up on the screen behind us. I don't know, we just went over it again, but it's just a... Looked like something before. Now I don't know what the heck it is. It looks like a blob. Definitely a little wakey out here, very windy. Hopefully the audio is not horrible. Probably it's not great, but... You think it's a boat? It's starting to, it's starting to look like it. Definitely doesn't. It's not. It's not natural. Yeah. See, that look right there. Looks like a boat to me. Look at that upside down boat. That would make sense considering the conditions we're in right now. And I imagine it gets way worse at times. But since it's tidal, we need to check up too, not just down with the wind. Yeah. Since I'm facing this. Way, There's one thing, but I think it's a boat, a sunken boat out there. But we're trying to find places around here, but there's not many places it seems like. There's like this boat ramp and I guess the one on the state park, but there's another one that's kind of off the beaten path. Do you think it's deep enough over there for? Not right off the ramp, but that's, that ramp is real eat up with uh, scallops. Oh, yeah. And I've heard of a lot of stuff going down out there. Really? Yeah. People lose a tire and next thing you know, because the current's going out, it pulls the car and everything out in there. So I don't know if we want to, but we can check right here, but then the Sunbury is straight across. We have to weave through the swamp and cut across. I don't know if you want to do that or not. How far cut across? I don't know exactly, but it's, I mean, the tree line over there. All right, so we just put in, yeah, that's the law enforcement game warden building, and they went I'm that way. I'm surprised how deep it is, like 16, 16 feet. 16 feet, right? yeah. Oh, the dolphin right there. Oh, that's weird. You can't see them. I guess they like the move, they're, they're feeding out here. They'll probably pop back up in a second. Seen anything? I do not, I do not serve. The current, the tide is going out. So right now it is like sucking all the water out that way. So the current is really strong right here in this little channel. But I mean, it's definitely deep enough. I'm really surprised how deep these things are. Yeah. But uh, I say just zip across. We'll get out from it's not that far out. I mean, you can see it from here. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the map. It's just, it's just a windy little creek that and goes out goes to the main out, channel. Yeah. And then we can. Uh, so that, it'd, be, that, it'd be a little bit of a haul, but... That way you don't have to drive. We can knock that one out too and we'll be done with it. Uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Alright, so that first ramp we put in at didn't have anything, but we did notice the next boat ramp where we wanted to search that we were planning on driving around 30 minutes was straight across. So we cut across over here. This is the, uh, I believe it's called Sunbury boat ramp, something like that. So we're gonna scan up and down here. Ooh, what are we at? 26 huh? feet. I mean, it's plenty deep. You're gonna thing in this water. Sandy. So if there's a car, it's gonna stand out. I sure hope so. I mean, three months ago, it could be a little buried, but I would imagine we'd still see something. I don't think it's gonna be buried. There's a spot right there, a car could go off, and the boat ramp's right here next to it. Was that old house site or something? It could be. I don't know. You're shooting 80 feet out, I mean, we should be able to see something. Oh. Once again, a car can drift a ways. A ways. All right, we just got done searching these spots. Jeremy's backing down right now, and then we're gonna, I guess, come up with a game plan where to search next. I think from here on out, I mean, we only have a three or four more hours 
search. I mean, there's, there's just more ponds to check, basically. I don't think there's any more part of the river that makes sense. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about it and figure out what we're doing next. There's a couple boat ramps semi close to her house. They don't make as much sense based on her direction, though. Yeah, she's headed to south. I don't know why she'd be up. But they might not be out of. I mean, I, I think there's one that we should check. Let's go there. Go that one next. <laughs> might as well. Keep looking until we run out of daylight. It's really a question of like, do we stay searching south, assuming she. We know she went one way, but maybe she turned around and went back up, and that camera is not going to catch every car. True. I don't know. I'm just assuming she went south and never came back. That's what I'm trying to. This theory I'm sticking with. All right, we just got here to the next boat ramp. This might be the last one for the big boat, but this is like Morgan's Bridge boat ramp. Tons of graffiti around here, and it's completely flooded. Look at this. I don't know if this is normal for here, but definitely makes it interesting. At least we know we won't hit the hit, hit the hit the ground. Won't be too shallow. Pretty tanicky looking water though. We'll search around here and check. I mean, I I think if there's gonna be something somewhere, this might be it. All right, let's get put in. It's like five five feet. Yeah, it's five feet. We're still on top of the boat. <laughs> Water's a little high. A little bit high, yeah. We'll check this spot. I definitely think it has potential. There's something right there, isn't it? Can't tell. We gotta get this thing situated here. Uh, 12 feet. It's the perfect depth. I could stand on it pretty much. I couldn't. I mean, I could underwater. <laughs> well, if it's a six foot tall car. I don't actually know if this is river. We're like supposed it. to go this way, but I guess that's an island right there in the middle. Probably. It's supposed to be. You seen anything, man? Looks Sadly, I don't see a thing. Another boat ramp that's dry. I don't know if there's many more that would make sense. This one's only like eight miles from our house. Yeah. So it's still fairly close. Try not to run into this. Like you're getting bridge. fairly close to this pillar. I'm working on it. And it might be something right under. It might be like a part of it right there you can't see. There's the pillars you can see right there. Part of the bridge shooting a shadow. There still might be a car like in between. I didn't see one there. It might be that next one or that. I don't know. I wonder. I guess the edge is right somewhere close there because there's rope swings. Yeah. But nothing. Nothing's jumping out like a vehicle right off the bat. Nah. I had hopes for this one and it looks kind of sketchier, but I guess not. It's, I think it's deep enough out there. It's very clear, but over there, there's like people drive out to the edge. So I, I, I don't know. It just looks too shallow, and you probably see some sign of. I don't know. It's so shallow right here. I mean, we could check this right here real quick, or we can go park up on the corner. I'll put the boat in here and drive it around. We'll probably drive my truck around. Okay. Do that. God, it's so clear. All right. Set, I have to change the batteries on this thing. And hopefully that fixed the problem. Good? Yeah. To the RC boat. Getting optimistic here. This is not as bad as we. Oh! Well, it's definitely ground right out there. But now we're going to retrieve it. I'm trying to get the signal back. Okay. So here's ground. I'm just gonna go to the other side. This, this is where you're probably gonna get wet. <laughs> I 
So I'm gonna step in a hole. Yeah, battery dead died. Uh oh. That's the park department. All right, in case you guys didn't see what happened, we kind of lost the drone there. Uh, the, the boat ran out of power and uh, we had to drive around to the other side and we kind of got confronted by the, the park security, but they were really cool. And, park uh, law. Park law, yeah. But we, uh, we've all but exhausted our search probably for today. We might look at a few more spots, but the sun is going down pretty quick here. I mean, I think Demetria is out there somewhere. I don't know if she's in the water or not, but we have sure cleared a heck of a lot of it in this area, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And I told people on my channel, like, if, if they're wondering why we keep posting these videos where we don't find somebody, you know, there's a reason behind it. And yeah. that's because we're, we're getting the spots that we've searched out there. And so people don't waste their time searching. Right. So if they trust our skills, obviously. I mean, and nobody's 100%. Obviously, you, people miss things all the time. It's really easy to miss things. But pretty darn sure, maybe 90, 95%. I mean, we checked, the, we checked the boat ramps. I mean, thoroughly, we had the boat out on those. Yeah. You know, I think your sonar, your, your RC sonar boat is, is, is perfect. So, like, it, it does the job. Yeah. And so, I don't think we missed anything. I definitely just don't. There's no cars or nothing we found. We found a boat. We did find that boat. We found that one boat. So, we yeah. know we're, we're I know that we know the sonar is working. We just, yeah. man, I don't know where this chicken is. I mean, I'm only a couple hours from here, so maybe I'll come back, search for more. There's so many little ponds. The closer you get to the coast here, but we really, really appreciate y'all's support. Like I always say, we couldn't do these videos without y'all's help. So thanks for liking, si subscribing, commenting on all our videos. Uh, that's what helps us keep going. So if you want to also check out Exploring with Nug's channel, feel free to go do that. Let's give him some support. And we're going to keep searching. We'll see you guys on the next one.